Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here with a video to teach you how to move any object with telekinesis. This is for probably for immediate, like for novices, but mostly for intermediate and advanced telekinetics. Um, I, I would say that you need to have some skill developed already to do this, but to move any object with telekinesis at a moment's whim, at a moment's notice, you have to play with the object as you see I'm doing there with the finger. Learn to read how the object moves on a specific surface and how and and uh, a specific object. Read the object's movements. Mess with it a little bit. Analyze how it shifts, how fast or how slow it takes for it to move in a certain direction. You know, certain speed, um, certain force it takes to push the object, and a certain uh, to displace it from one location to another from A to B. You know, read the object, you know, the subtle intricacies of how the object moves. You know, um, 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 analyze the object as, as uh, similar to a zoologist would uh, um, analyze um, an animal's movements. Like how a bird flaps its wings, or how a cat kind of slinks by and creeps behind its prey and hunts it. You know, um, analyze the, the object's uh, very characteristics, because every object has its own the naturalistic characteristics of how it moves, how it's in motion, because of its shape, because of its weight, because of this or that, because of the surface that it's on or whatever. Every object has its own uh, individual uniqueness to how it moves. Analyze, mess with the object, and analyze how it moves. As you're doing that, you want to record how it moves. Record all of the motion that you're seeing, the subtleties, like I said, the subtle intricacies, the subtle shifts and sways of how the object moves, because every object has its own, I guess you could say, personality. You have to think of it as though it's a living thing. You're analyzing the, it. You have to be engaged with the object, like I said, you have to be engaged with the object. You know, um, um, Consider it something that you're um, trying to find more about. It's very similar to how a cartoonist of the past used to um, analyze animal motion and human motion to apply that to cartoons that they were drawing, like Bugs Bunny. You know, they would apply humanistic um, characteristics of motion and arm of uh, flailings and uh, mannerisms. You know, analyze the object. Um, and and uh, um, calculate how it moves, you know. Also, pay attention to how the object sounds when it's in motion. That's also very, very important. Um, not only are you recording in your subconscious how the object is moving, but you're also recording uh, how the object sounds when it's moving, when you're pushing it. You know, um, what you want to do is that when you're moving an object, you're focusing, let's say, on a pair of glasses or a can, Move it and kind of, kind of gently coax it left and right and push it with your fingers and whatnot. Like what I'm doing with these candies and pushing them around, gently just watching how they roll, how it sounds when it's on a that wood wooden uh, table. Um, what you want to do is that after you're done messing with it for 15, 20 minutes or whatever, you want to stare at that very object that you're working on, at that object that's sitting idle, idly still, and replay what you just saw what you just heard as you're messing with that very object previously and you want to replay it right at that moment seeing it in motion seeing replaying how you saw it in motion in your mind's eye and you want to see it at that instant you want to see it as though it's moving before your eyes you want to see that motion being active as though it's moving before your eyes you don't want to force it and you don't worry about any specific direction that you want it to go. That's going to make you fail. Just stare at the object and and replay how you heard the object move and how you saw the object move. Just let the object go where it wants. And you'll see it shift and shiver and you'll see it move. It takes a few minutes to get it to get it going, get to get warmed up, but man, it really does work. Now, in terms of working on any random object, this is really where intermediate and advanced telekinesis come in. 
What you want to do is that since you messed around with multiple different types of objects as you've seen in this video, you know, um, utensils, kitchen utensils, little candy, little ball spheres, um, uh, pretty soon a little PSI and a little uh, green, I mean red, uh, water balloon ball thing. You know, after you mess around with so many random objects, you'll already get a, a, a certain uh, taste and a certain sense of how almost any any object and every object should move by just looking at the anatomy of the object itself if it's a metal thing if it's a wooden thing if it's a paper thing if it's a uh like a like a little plastic toy tire or whatever it is a little rock or a leaf you get a the gist just by staring at the object that you understand um how the physics of how it would move in our reality you know how it would shift and sway or whatever or roll you would just have to replay at a moment's whim and a moment's notice replay as though you've already of uh, uh, as though you've already encountered and messed around physically with that object as though you've already seen that object in motion and pretty much you've had in the past you have to at the very moment again you have to replay it over again in your mind and see it move before your eyes as I said before, you have to see the object in motion as though you've seen it before and see it moving right before your eyes. You have to look at that very object, that still idle object, but in your mind you're replaying that it's already moving, that the, that the object is already active, it's already in motion. In your mind, in your mind's eye, the object is already in an active motion. The object will then react to that mental energy that you're creating, that imagery that you're creating, that you're putting out, and it'll move and don't, again, don't force it any direction, just let it go where it wants and it, it'll do what it does, you know, and, uh, and this is for, for probably for, uh, people that already have some skill, some confidence, you have to be engaged with the object, remember, um, just be confident and you'll be able to move any object just by using this technique. And also try some meditation. Um, I recently tried some meditation and it actually really worked and never really did it. But I just sat in an Indian position, pose, uh, sitting on the floor, and uh, crossed my feet and I just breathe through my nose, hold it for one second and breathe it out real softly through my mouth. And just relax, you know, um, and just remember, just believe in the object, it's alive. You know, uh, try moving a trash can on a real hard, rough, a rough um, cement surface or a rocky surface and uh, you'll be able to move it by just recording it and uh, hearing how it sounds. And remember, just believe and uh, you'll be able to do it. This is for advanced and intermediate telekinetics. And uh, just use all the techniques you used before chapter seven. This is Rick Cespedes, thank you guys for watching. Hope it helped.